This morning I'd like to share with you all uh, a few distal extremity products that can truly change your sports medicine practice. Many of you may be familiar with these, many of you may be not, but I'd like to share these three innovative products that I'll start with, and the first of those is the internal brace. The internal brace is a novel concept that uses swivel lock and fiber tapes. This technology uh, actually came about about five years ago when Dr. Mackay came to us and we had to, have, had to solve the problem of lateral ankle instability. Now with the Brostrums, he wanted to get them back a little bit faster, but using a regular Brostrum repair when we're doing the biomechanical data on it, only averaged out to about 75 newtons. So if we can take swivel lock and fiber tapes and really strengthen that ligament repair to perform a, a seat belt technology on that, we can really make a difference. Now, making a difference, this is an example that was sent to us from Dr. Coetzee out of Minneapolis. This is a patient that's 12 weeks out from his right brostrum. 12 weeks out. Typically at this point, if it was a standard brostrum, he would just be coming out of his splint at this time. And again, a major league soccer player that's 12 weeks out. With that same application, as many surgeons have came to us, and they're using internal brace all over the body. It started out in the foot and ankle, now it's being used in the knee, in the hand and wrist, elbow, and even the shoulder. Another innovative product that I'd like to spend a little more time on is the actual Achilles internal brace, or the Achilles and Substance Speed Bridge. This innovative technology, and this second procedure for a sports medicine surgeon to be familiar with, really addresses the problem of wound complications, Having a deep infection of an Achilles is an absolute disaster. If we can avoid that, and we're arthrox, minimally invasive, then we'll be doing the patient a service. And then we have the strong tendon and bone fixation. So this is, you see the image on your right? This is absolutely awful. A very, very large incision for something that could be avoided. Now the Achilles repair, if you look at that and you think of the PARS, maybe some people aren't familiar with it. It is suture management. They may say it takes too long. Well, this surgeon out of Ohio actually did a crack out, which he was familiar with, and then he used a mid-substance speed bridge, and this is a 14-minute case, 14-minute tourniquet time for using this repair. And you can see the small incision that was used for a stronger repair. Here's another example. This was sent to us. Many surgeons are sending this to us, but this is a patient that's three months out, a college soccer player that's three months out from his Achilles repair. Absolutely no calf atrophy, no calf atrophy at all. The third product I'd like to talk to you about that's really changed the sports medicine practice is the tightrope. The synosmosis tightrope has actually been out for 12 years. We have over 24 positive scientific studies on it. Now, as we take a little bit closer, we're looking a little bit more and more at the high ankle sprain market. Um, we're looking at, uh, excuse me, we have released a synosmosis kit, which includes two synosmosis tightrope and then a tightrope specific plate. This two-hole plate was designed in order to spread out the force of the syndesmosis tight ropes with a larger area. So there's actually 22 millimeters between the two holes as opposed to a standard straight plate that only has 16. It also has a knurled surface beneath it, and then again, it's spreading the force of this two syndesmosis tight ropes. Now we've actually entered internal bracing of trauma products. We're releasing a titanium ankle fracture set, and you'll see the green circle on your left for internal embrace of the AITFL. So using a tightrope for the intraosseous fixation, you also have the option of using an internal brace for the AITFL. And these titanium plates have cutouts, as you see on the right, that are actually designed to have the fiber tape fit through them. We also have a uh, compression hole for an oblong hole if you do have to compress the fracture. That's another option with the titanium. Now with the lateral ankle fracture plates that we've had out for quite some time, we we're actually releasing what we call our, po excuse me, our posterior plates and then also posterior lateral plates. All of these plates are designed to accommodate the tightrope. They also have locking screws distally, and going from posterior to anterior, you actually get biomechanically stronger screws. In this set, it's 2.7 millimeter screws distally, and then 3.5 screws into the shaft. Well, we're expanding our ankle indications even more, and if you have a pilon fracture, you have the Arthrex Technology Consultant where we can take care of you. We have innovative plating systems that have been designed. They fit the anatomy extremely well with our anterior lateral plates, medial plates, including a small rim plate. These plates are using 2.7 millimeter screws distally, so you get a large screw cluster with small screws um, in the distal aspect. And then we also have posterior and anterior plating. With that same factor of the ankle fractures, we're expanding our, our, our reach even farther now. If you have a bad enough ankle fracture that you need to stage, we're excited to offer the ArthroFX. This is an external fixation system that uses 11 millimeter rods, four, five, and six millimeter chance pins. It has a combination clamp. It also has a multi-clamp, multi-pin clamp, excuse me. In addition to offering the Arthro FX, we have something that's truly innovative uh, besides that, and that's the uh, jump start. The jump start can actually be placed over the pin sites. We developed it so it'll actually fit onto the pin sites to help prevent infection. 
So I hope you'll see in conclusion that we have to, many products to offer for your sports medicine practice.